Hi, I'm Cinnamon Cooney, your archer, but I'm really excited today to share with you how you can make for yourself the new color of the year that Pantone just announced. It's living coral. It's fantastic. It's warm. It's vibrant. I'm in love with it. But how you can mix it yourself with watercolors. I'm going to explain to you the basic concepts and show you how those mixes work and even some insider tips that you might not already know. So get your watercolors, get your brush, get your paper, come back and meet me at the easel right now. We're gonna paint this. I'm so excited to show you how you can mix this color with watercolor. We're gonna jump right into it. It's gonna be so much easier than you probably think it is. Now, one way that mixing watercolor is a little bit different than mixing other types of paint is that we use the white of the paper to actually be the white of our paint. So we don't necessarily add white into it, but instead we reveal white through the paper. So in most coral recipes, you're gonna start with a really great vibrant orange. This particular coral recipe, Living Color, is a slightly warmer orange. So let's mix that up right now. Now I'm using the Core Mini watercolor pad. It's just, I love these little half pans. It's fantastic. But in this particular case, it happens to have pyrrole orange, pyrrole red, and quinacridone magenta. And these are colors that I would be using to mix this color anytime in any media that I was using because they're just really a great place to start. So I'm gonna take my brush and I'm gonna go ahead and activate my orange. And you can see the wonderful thing about pyro orange is that it looks a little bit like a traffic uh, cone, right? It's like the little guy, little safety vests and stuff that they have around. It's super unusual. This isn't an orange that you necessarily easily mix with other colors. I'm rinsing out so I've got this nice and clean. Now I'm gonna get my magenta here and I'm gonna go ahead and add some of this in and warm this up a whole, whole lot, right? So now that this is in this pan, I'm gonna rinse my brush out and let's go ahead and wet some of this paper. And you can already see that the light version of Living Coral is coming up. And the thing about this is, is as the paper is wet and as it's so bright, you've gotta be able to see this. So sometimes we will adjust this as we're going so that you guys can really see the color. So let's start to reveal this amazing color in its deeper hues. Oh, this is fantastic. Now, I'll tell you what, coral is amazing. It's different than peach, it's different than pink, and I'll show you even a little bit about how those colors are a bit different. I'm gonna just keep working this in here. You could even go into your pyro reds to just warm that up and hit that higher point that I'm seeing in the living uh, coral kind of images and swatches. It's so exciting to see what the designers are gonna do with this. So you can see what I'm trying to create is this, this really dynamic, dynamic coral color. Now, if you were just making pink, right, just to show you a difference, I'm gonna get just some of my red and quite a lot of my pigment. And how you do that on watercolor paper is you would just use a really great red and do it in a nice soft wash. And that's gonna create a lovely, lovely pink for you. And I'll let that wonderful living color go into there. And if I was just gonna make a traditional peach, I might take my yellow paint and I might take just a little bit of my red paint, a little more of my yellow on this mix. And I'm gonna come here and I'm going to show you how this is. It's just this nice, ooh, let's get that pink in there, little soft peach. So it's just a little bit different than your pinks and your corals. This is a whole range of families. And what you're gonna find is these colors go amazing with turquoise. They go amazing with greens. They're so much fun to work with all of the neutrals. It's gonna warm up all your design and all your paintings. And it's just a great skill to have in your paint box. It's really fantastic to see how these colors can impact our lives, and it's fun to know how we can make them for ourselves. Remember to be good to yourselves and be good to each other, and I wanna see you at the easel really soon, painting living coral.